So octopuses fall under the class Cephalopoda, and this includes squids, cuttlefish, nautiluses, and the now extinct ammonites. So Cephalopoda is in the phylum Mollusca, which includes animals like snails, clams, chitons, and tusk shells. So cephalopods alive today are the only living mollusks to have a closed circulatory system. So cephalopods evolved a closed circulatory system independently of vertebrates. So this is a good example of convergent evolution. So hemocyanin is found in all living cephalopods and some other mollusks such as snails and some chitons and bivalves. So hemoglobin is actually also present in some chitons and bivalves. So many arthropods also have hemocyanin. So this includes horseshoe crabs, lobsters, centipedes, and even some species of insects, despite their tracheal system. The tracheal system is just basically holes in the insect that takes oxygen directly to tissues. So centipedes and millipedes also have a tracheal system and some species of spiders as well. So the genetic sequencing of hemocyanins found in mollusks is actually very different to the genetic sequencing of hemocyanins found in arthropods. So mollusks are thought to have evolved hemocyanin about 740 million years ago and arthropods are thought to have evolved it 600 million years ago at a completely different time and also from similar yet different proteins. So cephalopoda is split into three subclasses so there's Coleoidea, which includes octopuses, squids and cuttlefish. There's Nautiloidea, which includes today's Nautiluses. And Ammonoidea, which includes the now extinct Ammonites. So all Coleoids alive today have a systematic heart and two branchial hearts, whereas Nautiluses just have one heart.